The first of the Sunday games saw Hamburg up against Schalke. Two teams for which three points was a must. Hamburg needed to climb back into that automatic Europa League spot. And Schalke and Felix Magath knowing that a win after Bayern Munich's loss would put them at the top of the Bundesliga. Felix Magath back in a part of the country of which he has many happy memories indeed. We join the game in the 10th minute and the save from Frank Rost forced by Kevin Kurani on the lookout for goals. He wants to climb up that scorer list. Fyodor Trokowski with a free kick on 14 minutes. And check out the Dutch international, Ruud van Nistelrooy with a fine effort. Not bad at all from Van der Man. Hamburg buoyed up by qualifying for the 12th time for the quarterfinals of what is now the Europa League. 57,000 fans expecting the best from them. Although David Rosenahl caught in possession and the chance for Kurani to open the scoring snuffed out by Frank Rust. Rust and Kurani clattering together. 50-50 ball, but what was Rosenahl playing at? Luckily, both of them able to continue after that clash. Just on the half-hour mark. Layoff from Kurani, the ball coming back over the top. Vesterman and Rakitic with a chance. Both teams... A little uncertain in the opening half an hour, neither wanting to make a mistake. Felix Magat and his assistant Bernd Hollebach enjoying the game. And that's some of the injured players of Hamburg. Bruno Guerrero amongst them. Then, with five minutes to go to the break, free kick from Trakowski, and there is Vanaman. Third goal of the season for him in his fifth game. The mark of a quality striker. In the right place at the right time. Slight hint of offside with Jarl in the captain. Referee Wolfgang Stark and his assistants letting that one continue. And that was the opener. It had been a fairly even game up to this point. Half time then, 1 0 to the home sides on the right there. Schalke's ex coach Mirko Slomka. Checking out Hanover's opponents in a couple of weeks' time. In the second half, Trokowski again causing trouble for Manuel Neuer. Yarlim's skied cross coming in beautifully. Felix Maggot not happy at all. Long throw from Rost on 54 minutes. A mistake by Schmitz, letting in Van Nisselrooy on his own. Zay Roberto was offside, but it was passive. And he didn't touch the ball, but Van Nisselrooy unable to steer his shot onto goal. Just past the hour mark, Schalke changing up a gear. He brought on Baum Johan and... Kevin Kurani with a brave header in front of Frank Rost, scoring his 15th of the season and making it 1-1. It was good work from Baumjohan, but the real clincher was that header from Rosenau right into the path of Kurani. Nothing that Rost could do about it. started an avalanche of attacks from Schalke down in the box oh yes who was it Van Nisselrooy bringing down Baumjohan Matheisen was there as well Van Nisselrooy helping out and for the fourth time this season Wolfgang Stark points to the spot up step Rakitic and Ivan Rakitic after a retake 
made it 2-1 to the visitors and that put them temporarily on top of the table but there was still over 20 minutes to play Edu and Kurani combining and Edu unable to get it in and an eccentric unusual header off the line from Rincon but they all count Pianofaro offside, not awarded, and Rincon somehow managed to keep that ball out. You won't see many crazier stops than that one. And then on 77 minutes, Trokowski getting the ball across, evades everyone except for the substitute, Jonathan Petroipa. He scored on the first day of the season against Freiburg after three minutes and hasn't scored since. But he got the scores back to 2-2 in what was a very entertaining game for the fans of both sides. And it could have been clinched on 79. Baum Johan with an absolute pile driver coming back off the bar. Wanted a corner for it. But only the bar stopping that third goal for Schalke. With nine minutes to play, the last real action of the game. Schmidt's getting the ball across. And the ball cleared by Matteisen from Kevin Kurani's header. When they met in the first half of the season, this one ended 3-3. Well, on this occasion, it ended 2-2. A point apiece, not really what either side was looking for. And that does Bayern Munich a big favour.